I've been electric longboarding for three or so years now, um, and I think it's just a lot more fun than riding a bike, honestly. Being able to kind of carve back and forth is really enjoyable compared to just kind of getting from A to B on a bike. I also came from a previous university that had a lot of hills, um, so a traditional longboard just wouldn't have been an option there. Plus the ability to just have a brake on a throttle is a really convenient feature that you just don't get with a normal longboard. Safety is definitely something that you need to be aware of when you have an electric longboard. The reality is you are on a two by four driven by like electric motors, so you don't necessarily have the security of an electric scooter where you have handlebars or on a bike where you have a seat. As long as you're not going irresponsible speeds and you're just being cautious around the environment around you, like making sure you're not you know, gonna run into anyone, just don't go fast when you don't need to, really, um, then it's a really, Enjoy the experience. Well, um, this is my electric skateboard uh, remote, and the parking pass was like $660 for one year here, and this costed less than that, and it's fun, and I can use it for more than one year. It was easily justifiable to me, and I enjoyed a little bit of adrenaline wakes me up for class. I think it's more dangerous in the fact of hitting things like cracks in the road or rocks or stuff. Like if you if you hit one of those and your wheel stops, then you really get tossed. But keeping an eye out for those and just not hitting them helps. I think having a brake helps a lot. And because on a normal longboard, you just gotta jump off it or scuff your shoes up trying to stop. So that's definitely helpful. From the front door of my apartment to my classroom, and I timed it and it took me three minutes and eight seconds is my record. I think electric um, skateboards are pretty dangerous because some of them that I see zipping around here on campus are going really fast. And as a pedestrian, you really have to watch out for yourself because no one else is gonna watch out for you. Skateboards, I think, are not quite as bad. Um, they're probably just as dangerous as bikes. But I think what I see is bicyclists tend to be a little bit more cautious, where skateboarders are just a little bit more cavalier 